Aminoglycosides are antibiotics that prevent bacterial cells from making functional proteins. Steve, the streptomycin molecule, who is an aminoglycoside, is injected into Connie the cow. Some cows on Connie's farm have contracted P. aeruginosa infection, so Connie's owner treats all the cows with streptomycin, an effective antibiotic against P. aeruginosa. Steve, the streptomycin molecule, is imported into the cell and binds to Rob, one of the cell's 30S ribosomal subunits. Steve causes Rob to mistranslate all the proteins he tries to make. Some of Steve's fellow streptomycin friends bind to some of Rob's ribosome friends, making it difficult for the P. aeruginosa bacterium to make any proteins. Eventually, the cell dies off without reproducing. Even though Connie did not have an active bacterial infection, she still housed a couple small colonies of P. aeruginosa, kept in check by her immune system and other species of bacteria. Most of the colonies in Connie the cow die off thanks to Steve and his friends, but some colonies develop mutations that allow them to modify streptomycin molecules and render them unable to bind to the 30S ribosome. These resistant colonies have developed a genetic mutation coding for an enzyme called aminoglycoside 3' phosphotransferase. This enzyme keeps streptomycin molecules from attacking the cell through a mechanism called drug inactivation where the enzyme transfers a phosphate group from ATP to the streptomycin molecule, making it unable to bind to the 30S ribosome, allowing the cell to continue making proteins. A month later, Connie the cow's immune system is weakened due to a virus, and the resistant P. aeruginosa colonies inside of her proliferate and infect her. She gets another dose of streptomycin to fight the infection, but this time, the P. aeruginosa have streptomycin resistance. The P. aeruginosa colonies continue to grow and spread throughout Connie, eventually killing her. Tragedies like this one can be avoided by stopping the unnecessary administration of antibiotics. Thanks for watching.